Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel here with the Cascade Card Wranglers, and today we are going to open our fifth Zendikar Rising Collector Booster Box. Ladies and gentlemen, it's here, the fifth and final box for this channel, for now at least. Uh, the rest are going into storage. Uh, let's see what we can get as our final um, expeditions, final box toppers, and how many Mythics can we pull out. Uh, of the fancy version so before we get started here just want to thank each and every one of you for coming and checking out the channel it means a lot to us here at the cascade card wranglers if you do like our content please hit the thumbs up button below uh it helps spread the chan uh, the video on youtube and consider subscribing to the channel so you get the latest videos that we put out now without further ado let's get to cracking um the Zendikar Rising Collector Booster Box. But beforehand, I have a little surprise for you guys. We will be cracking these promo packs first. Um, I got these from my um, LGS. Uh, they were just handing out these promos with uh, any valid purchase of, um, of Magic Sealed product. Uh, I reckon that... You know, in an age where you're not playing and drafting in your LGS, um, this is how they uh, redeem the promo code. So let's see what we got here with the stamp. We've got Inscription of Insight. We have Cargan Warleader in the fancy schmancy uh, promo packet um, coloring or whatever format. We have a Guardian Project from the now defunct uh, Ravnica Allegiance or Guilds, I don't remember. Um, and we have a promo card. Guys, go ahead, take that. Just comment down below whoever takes this and let us know that you took it. No problemo. Um, for those of you that are arena fans and the second pack here we go I don't want to hurt it we have a nimble trap finder very nice followed by another Cargan war leader Wow um, we got the same like promo pack specialized card specialized card and an M21 maze mine tome and there is your promo card ladies and gentlemen um or not promo card your uh, arena code card enjoy that just let us know if you took that and uh, that's about it pretty mild for uh promo packs uh, i've definitely gotten more exciting ones so let's put these cards to the side um and let's get started with this here um so what are we looking for we're looking for the fetch lands. They're going to be the most um, expensive expeditions, right? And Cavern of Souls as well. Um, we have pulled the most expensive, the Misty Rainforest and the Cavern of Souls. Um, still no Scalding Tarn as it's... Um, and I'm talking about foils. These regular box toppers have pulled like a Verdant Catacombs. I've pulled the Arid Mesa. Uh, the Marsh Flats. So we'll put those there. We got our juicy packs over here. 12 of them. Very nice. And let's get rid of this box. And let's see what the final box on this channel has in store for us. And whoa. Weird opening of the pack for the first pack. Let that not be an omen see what's going on here so our five commons in the front we have shatter skull minotaur bayin veil bayin coast for the modal dfc we have a forest and our first extended art non-foil is soul shatter followed by squad commander uh the regular version and our two Common on Common Showcase, Non-Foils, Dreadworm, and the Territorial Scythe Cat. Followed by the Needle Verge Pathway, Non-Foil, uh, Pillar Verge Pathway in the back. But regardless, uh, these are the 
uh, borderless pathways, so there'll be a little more. Very nice. Our foil territorial size cat, common uncommon slot, and for our box topper, our first mythic, the Marsh Flat starting out strong with the expeditions. We pulled a Marsh Flats already, but we'll take another one somewhere around the $45, $50 range right now. Uh, very cool. And that will be our first mythic Angel Warrior for the Caboose. And next pack starting off strong here. Now, some of these packs have two on average, right? Some of the packs have one, some of the packs have none, and some of the packs have three. Some of the packs have more. So it's all a gamble here. So go to the commons. Demon's Disciple. Thundering Spark Mage. We got a Mountain. And Cherix the Crazy uh, Leviathan Crab for the non-foil extended. Followed by Cargan Intimidator. Our two common, common non-foil showcases. Kazandu Nectarpot and Canyon Jerboa. Followed by our Mythic Nissa of Shadowed Bows. Very nice, very nice. We haven't gotten any Planeswalkers other than the Jaces in all of our box opening. It's really cool to see Nissa finally got her Mythic number two. Followed by the Foil Skyclave Geopede and a Mythic Angel of Destiny box topper here. Very strong start with the Mythics. Um, and an Angel Warrior. Um, huh. Moving on. Ugh. Commons. You got Paired Tactician and Vine Gecko. Another Mountain. And Squad Commander Extended Art for the kind of duplication. We got the normal version uh, non foil here. Followed by Aga Deems Awakening, the regular version. Foil nonetheless. One of the more. Uh, pricier cards, although it's the extended art that's pricier. I could do the Undercrypt. Nonetheless, Mythic number four. Boom! Spitfire Lagak, followed by Skyclave Pickaxe, and our rare Scoop Swarm Showcase card. And common Skyclave Squid, followed by a rare a Skyclave Apparition. Got a little bit of money to that one, I think, too. Uh, so very strong start here core warrior and a plant What is your favorite token from this set? Please comment below ladies and gentlemen and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel here we go Boom Very nice Kite sail cleric Okay, cool 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 vastwood fortification and vastwood thicket for the metal DFC cool cool Swamp and Obun Moldaya Ancestor for the, what is this, a commander, ancillary uh, commander card. And the Archon of Amiria. Ooh, this is a mythic, mythic number six. Followed by our two common on common non-foil showcases, the Skyclave Squid and the Prowling Felidar. And we got our rare River Glide Pathway, which turns into a Lava Glide Pathway. Borderless non foil, okay. Still no foils in this one. Uh, borderless pathways. Canopy Bailiff into the rare Roiling uh, Vortex. Very nice. The box stopper. And I think I pulled that already, but nice nonetheless. Cat and plant. Here we go. All right. Moving forward here, and five commons. We got Concerted Defense, Umara Wizard into ooh, Umara Skyfalls. I haven't seen this guy. Very nice. Uh, Swampy into a rare Nahiri's Lithoforming, and another rare Zerasan the Trickster. Followed by our common McKinney Ox Showcase, common Kazandu Nectar Pot Showcase into Rare, the Kazandu Mammoth. It's not a Zendikar Rising box without the Kazandu Mammoth and Kazandu Valley 
Moto DSC, ladies and gentlemen. I think I pulled it in every box. McKinney Ox Foil Common into the rare Nimble Trap Finder. All right, cooling off a little bit here, cooling off a little bit here. Uh, Drake and Construct. And we have, what, three and three. So half the box left. We'll open one of the box stoppers in the middle here. Here we go. And let's get through the commons. Base camp. We got base camp for our uncommon. We got the ruined crab, which ruins your day with mills. Uh, and we've got the island, the bowl island. Very nice. And a coveted prize, non foil extended. Followed by our next mythic, Ashaya, the soul of the wild. Uh, Pulled this in a set box recently, um, but it wasn't foil, so this is cool. Foil number six, and, or mythic number six. Spitfire Lagak. We got Brushfire Elemental into the rare Scoot Swarm for the duplication, followed by the foil common Akuma Hellhound and a mythic, the Celestial. Colonnade. We had to pull one of the crappy ones. This is one of the crappy ones. Nonetheless, pretty cool. Number two uh, for the expedition. Core Warrior and an insect. Speaking of expeditions, let's get this going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We've been pretty lucky with these... Uh, with these box toppers. We've been pulling some gnarly cards. So let's see what we can pull again. Boom. Arid Mesa. Ding, ding, ding. For the fetchy. Uh, one of the lowest fetches. Probably around 30 bucks or something like that. Um, still a fetch. Very nice. We'll put this up here as the special box topper. And get right back into our last six collector booster packs. Ladies and gentlemen, and I have made a huge mess out of this one, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's get commons out of the way. Huh. Huh. Not smooth, guys. Cinder Clasm. Amiria Captain. Another island. Beautiful. And Orin Refru Ooze. For the extended non foil, followed by Shadow's Verdict, the regular rare, um, and a Kuma Hellhound, Dreadworm, and a rare Felidar Retreat Showcase card. Very nice. Followed by an uncommon Brushfire Elemental for the duplication, and another rare, the Null Priest of Oblivion. Very cool for the box stopper, and an Angel Warrior Insect. Moving on. Nice. Let's see what's going on here. Cool. We've got Umara Mystic on the Man Array. We've got Song Mad Treachery and Song Mad Ruins. Very nice. Planes. Magmatic Chandler for the non foil. Valakut Awakening. I was waiting for this for the modal DFC. Valakut Stoneforge. Had to get one of those because they seem common. Skyclave Squid. Canopy Bailiff. Into the Mythic Omnath Locus of Creation. The Band card. Non foil. Got a couple of these now. Very nice. Mythic number eight. And Skyclave Squid. Followed by the rare River Glide Pathway. The first borderless. Foil pathway, very cool, and lava glide. At least it's not pill of verge or needle verge or whatever. Um, I have a lot of those, and a Drake and canopy bailiff. Four packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Maybe one more fetch, or maybe one more uh, foil expedition. Not necessarily a fetch, but five, and then. We've got Roiling Regrowth. We've got Short Footed Infiltrator. 
Eight Planes, followed by the Seagate Restoration Mythic number nine. Very cool. Seagate Reborn and into Hagra Mauling. All right. Another modal DFC, Hagra Brewprit. And Canopy Baileth into, I don't know what that was, but hopefully I didn't show it. Brushfire Elemental. And the Branch Off Pathway, Borderless card, uh, non Border Loft Pathway, non uh, Foil. And the card that I think we revealed, but I didn't see after the Dreadworm is Strip Mine. We got a third Expedition, very nice. This one's in the 20s now, so it's not that crazy. Um, but nonetheless, we'll take a third Expedition. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, three expeditions. We're doing great. Cat Beast and a copy. Three packs left. Here we go. Five commons. Merfolk Wind Robber. Very nice. And Moss Pit Skeleton, followed by the Forest and the Confounding Conundrum. Followed by the Felidar Retreat regular card. We've got our two showcase common uncommon cards, Dreadworm and Spitfire Lagok. Followed by the rare Clear Water Pathway. In the Merc Water Pathway, you get to choose. Choose a land. They should mark it like that. Kazandu Nectar Pot into Skyclave Shade, the uh, showcase version in foil. Very nice. Cat Beast Insect. Two packs left, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. All right. Spoils of Adventure. Skyclave Cleric into Skyclave Basilica. Very cool modal DFC. Forest into Grackma Skyclave Ravager, the meh. Card Lotus Cobra normal version, couple bucks, couple bucks, very nice. Foil, and we have a McKindy Ox and a Territorial Scythe Cat for the non foil showcase common uncommons. And into Valakut Exploration for the duplication, but this is a showcase non foil um, modal. Oh, this is Exploration. I'm sorry, we got we got uh, the Stone Forge and the Awakening. My bad, completely different card, guys. Prowling Felidar and a rare Yasharn Implacable Earth for the Elemental Boar Box Topper. Very nice. And an illusion. Insect illusion. All right, here we go. Last pack, Magic Baby. May the MTG Gods give us one more expedition. Let's see if we get lucky for four. I've only gotten three on the first video and fitting to have it on the last video. But let's see if we can make it to four. Relic Amulet, Palaka Predation, into Palaka Caverns, Modal DFC, or you get to choose. Mountain, Linvala Shield of Seagate for the non foil extended. Grakma in the normal version, followed by Kazandu Nectar Pot, and Fearless Fledgling. For the first time, I, we haven't seen the Fearless Fledgling, into the rare. Phylaf, World Sculptor, eh. One more chance in the lottery slot. Fearless Fledgling for the duplication, and here we have another rare. Throne of McKindy. Kind of meh for the close, but that's okay. We did excellent on this pack. Goblin Construct, Angel Warrior. Um, so far, uh, <laughs> We're doing perfectly fine on this. I'm okay with this because we got three Expedition, albeit the two are not as crazy. Uh, we got the Marsh Flats though, we got the Arid Mesa as the one box topper, and now we have the final box topper. Ladies and gentlemen, one last one for the road. Let's see what we get here. Here we go. Razor Verge Thicket. I'm not sure that this is the highest um, expedition in the hierarchy. Obviously, it's underneath most of the fetches. 
uh, but nonetheless I haven't seen this one I haven't pulled this one so this is great to pull um, we'll put those there like I said uh, I don't think we did bad here. Marsh Flats, Akadim's Awakening. We got Strip Mine for 20-ish dollars. I don't know. This may go for some teens. Ashaya's up there. Arid Mesa's good fetch land. And we got uh, we got a bunch of decent decent cards in this one. So to wrap it up, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Commander Legends around the corner. Can't wait to open those boxes. We got collector boxes coming. We got. Uh, draft box is coming for that too, so stick around, subscribe, and um, my name's Dan, Cascade Card Wrangler, signing out. You guys have a wonderful rest of your week.